really believe that uh, as Christians, as Christ followers, we're supposed to give to our church. We feel like a bottom line number is going to be 10%, and so we strive to give a minimum of 10% uh, here at LCC. I grew up in a family that was very um, prone to giving both time and money. We did a lot of work in our church at home, and tithing was just something we did as a family. We grew up giving whatever we had, and even times when we didn't have quite enough, when we thought we didn't have quite enough to make it, it was still church first, and God always took care of it. Yeah, I, I learned from my parents uh, at an early age, actually, that everything that we have isn't ours, but it's God's. My dad taught me this thing when, whenever we would get a new car, we would gather around the car as a family and we would pray for it, and then we would give it back to God. And so I've taken that concept and we've simply applied that to our entire life. Everything that we own isn't ours, it's God's, and He's just letting us use it for a little while. As Christ followers, we truly believe in the work of the local church. We truly believe in the mission that's, that's going on in the local church. And so we need to give to be able to fund that mission, to be able to, to make things happen that need to happen. And, and we're, we're modeled that throughout scripture, that this is something that we're supposed to do. And so we just do it. Um, I truly believe that God gives to those who give, that God gives to givers because We've seen it in our lives numerous times. We've seen things that we didn't have, things that uh, we couldn't afford, and God still gave it to us because of our faithfulness. I've got a lot of stories, but one story I'd love to share with you is when we were in Puerto Rico and we just had our son, Colin. He was just born and we came home from the hospital and I went to the grocery store to get groceries because we hadn't been home. And So I get out of the, I get out of the grocery store and I go to the car and the car was gone. Along with the car was all of our baby gifts, all of the baby supplies that we needed. Everything that we needed was in the car, and that was a horrible experience. And that was hard. And we continued to give. We, we had been giving, and we continued to give to our church. And one afternoon, I was speaking with a gentleman at our current church there um, and talking to him about purchasing his car because we needed a car. And long story short, he came up to me one day and said, Billy, I think I'm just supposed to give you this car. Now, it was a fairly expensive car, and so it was a huge blessing uh, because we didn't have the money to get the car, and God simply saw that we had a need, and He took care of us. You know, our approach to the capital campaign is really interesting. I've had a couple of conversations with people, and the thing is, I'm a staff member here at LCC, and so people have asked me, Billy, are you going to give to the capital campaign? Why are you going to give to the capital campaign? Do, why do you give, and then you get a paycheck? What's the purpose of that? What, just don't give. And, you know, honestly, I, I really believe that this is something that we're supposed to do. It's just like tithing. I believe that God has called us to do a great thing here at Lafayette Community Church, and we can't do that unless we all work together to make it happen. And I believe as so much in this vision that I'm ready and willing to say, I'm just going to put my money where my mouth is and say, let's, let's see what God can do here. So, and so for me, the capital campaign is necessary because if we do not get a new building with more space, the church is not going to grow and it is going to go backwards, quite honestly. We've seen it happen in other churches. Yeah, if a church isn't growing, then it's just staying steady and, and then it's just dying. And, and God is doing an amazing work here at Lafayette Community Church where we're, we're able to reach people that other churches aren't able to reach for whatever reason. God has blessed us. And so we need to be able to fulfill the mission that he's given us, fulfill the vision that he's given us. And part of that is reaching Tippecanoe County with the love of Christ. And we can't do that if we're hindered by space.